Hi, I'm Lydia, and I'm here to show you how to put a swim cap on. So, a lot of the times putting a swim cap on can be kind of hard because, um, I don't know, it just gets like stuck everywhere and slides off your head. So, um, I'm going to show you how I put my swim cap on, and hopefully it'll be helpful. So, here we go. Okay, so first you want to put your hair into a bun, and mine's kind of messed up, so I'm going to redo it. And you don't want it to be, like, a high bun. Um, if you have really short hair, then you could put it in a low bun. But, um, it's really up to you. Um, I put mine in the middle of my head, because it's easier to get my goggles around. Plus, it doesn't like make my swim cap slide off. It actually keeps it on pretty well. So I'm just going to put it in the middle of my head like that. Okay. So it's just like a regular bun. And, um, most of the time, swim caps have the logo on the front, so sometimes, like, I'm pretty sure my swim cap is just symmetrical on both sides, but sometimes other swim caps, especially for long hair, will be, like, bigger on one side because you have to fit your hair in it. So, um, that's not the case with mine because I don't have super long hair. But, um, I'm still going to make sure that the Speedo thing is in the front. And then I'm going to tilt, here, I'll get on this side, I'm going to um, tilt my head forward so that my bun is like that. And I'm going to take my swim cap with the logo in the front and put it on my forehead, just above my, like the bridge of my nose and my eyebrows. And then I'm just going to pull it over, so I'll do that now. And it can take a few tries sometimes. So, as you can see, this is not what a swim cap should look like. But we're going to fix it by moving it up a little bit. Because you definitely don't want it too far down on your eyebrows. Unless you, like, want to. I mean, it's totally up to you. People do their swim caps a lot different. Um... And then just pull it out like this, but don't use your fingernails because that can puncture your swim cap and ruin it. So you just want to grab it with your fingers and then push your hair up. And on the other side. And just do that until all of your hair is up inside the swim cap. If you have really long hair, this might take a while, but that's okay. Okay, so there we go. And now we're just going to make sure all the hair by our ears is tucked in. And you don't have to pull it down over your ears, but I like to. Because it, like, keeps the water out of my ears and stuff. And, by the way, swim caps, at least this kind, are not supposed to keep your hair dry. They're supposed to make it so your hair doesn't hold you back and you can just be like a bullet through the water. So, uh, don't worry if there's, like, a tiny bit of hair sticking out because, I mean, unless you want a swim cap to keep to keep your hair dry, there's like a special kind for that, but I wouldn't worry too much if you have like this kind of racing kind or something, so, um, now, some people, um, put their goggles under their swim cap, but I don't like to because it's a little more comfortable to just put them over, and if I need to like take them off because they're all foggy, then it's easier, um, so, I'll show you how I put my goggles on now. Okay, so, I have my goggles ready, and 
I'm just going to make sure that there's no twists in them or anything and put them on. And uh, there's two straps right here and right here. So, or right here and right here. <laughs> so, um, you want to make sure this works well for me to keep my goggles on. That one strap is below like your bump of hair and one strap is above. So then, um, like, they don't fall off and stuff. Okay. So, here it is all together with my goggles. So, once you have your swimsuit and your goggles on, it makes the swim cap look less weird. By itself with clothes on, it looks kind of <laughs> funny. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and that I helped you put your swim cap on, but, um, so just give it a like and bye! <laughs>